Me. What are you doing here? Yes. Scotty, this is agency business. You're going home. Not without my daughter, I'm not. While we're on the subject, what are you doing here? I? Yeah. You, you I... wouldn't be here if this was a piece of cake milk run. You're worried about your kid the same no. as me. No. What? Please, just go home. Field operations. I do this sometimes. I check on young agents, see how they're doing, take a fatherly interest. It's, I, I belong here. You're sneaking around, tailing these kids, wearing one of my old hats. You spooked me. I was doing fine. You sailed into my office with smoke coming out of your ears. Now I'm worried. Exactly. Not about them. They're fine. They're ready. I just... We, uh... Early this year, we lost a couple of green kids in a milk run. This is supposed to be a milk run that anything can go wrong, and usually does. Not this time. I'm going to see to it that it doesn't. And I am me. And so am mm I. -hmm. So am I. Now, tell me who, what, when, and why. The guy's name is Victor Reznikov. A man of science. is uh, Russian. The woman's his wife. Newly married. Yeah, how'd you know? Kissing and hugging. No, look, he's a scientist. He's important. He is not important. He's a biologist. He's, he's a bug man. He waltzed up to my man in Moscow and said, please, could I come to the United States? How about it? And the State Department says, OK, we'll take him. That's it. End of drama. There's more. No. The Cold War is over. Russia's broke, in case you haven't read a newspaper. This guy's out of a job. Russia doesn't care. Not about some person that, uh, looks at the bugs, counts the hairs on their collective rear end. Why here? Why not straight to the U.S.? This bride wanted a honeymoon uh, in romantic Vienna. I needed a young couple to tag along after him a couple of days and then make contact. And if that's not a milk run, I don't know what is. You put my daughter on the honeymoon with your kid. Are you going to start with me on that again? Look, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, man, but this this picture with the Russians, the, the, the picture doesn't look correct. Oh, please. You and your famous intuition. Well, you always trusted my intuition before. Yeah, but uh, that was then. But I'm smarter now. I wish I could say the same. Uh, 
Get me money. I'll get you. Is this where we're staying? Um, this is where I'm staying. This is where the kids are staying. This is where the Reznikovs are staying. You, on the other hand, are staying in the lobby until this nice concierge over here gets you a cab back the to the only airport. Thing the Thank concierge you. is going to do for me is send to the airport to get my bag because I'm going over and register. You can't. Why can't and I? They are booked solid. That's it. Well, then you have a roommate. All this technology we never had this time marches on and you marches out please <laughs> thank you <laughs> these are the russians yeah they're four doors down the hall where are the kids they're right next door you stay away from them why should i because i don't want them to think i don't trust them it's part of the drill all right um may i use your phone yeah Oh, you gonna you gonna call for an airplane ticket? I can help you with that. I have connections. Calling my wife. Oh, yeah. Country code. Country what are you doing? Dialing. Nobody Dialing. does that anymore. Oh, what's... Here, just punch pound, punch pound, and use well, that. You sure have changed. How so? Well, you used to hate paperwork. I still hate paperwork. Mm -hmm. That's not true at all. You enjoy this. You used to fly by the seat of your pants, and now you got all this high-tech stuff around here, and you're doing paperwork. You're not my hero anymore. Oh, Lily? Lily? Yeah. Hi, honey. No, no, I... Well, the reason why I'm talking this way, dear, is because I am not in Washington, D.C. anymore. I'm in Paris. Paris! No, dear. No, listen, listen to me carefully. Listen to me, hon. Everything was going fine with the conference. It's just that this one professor from the University of Paris is... I mean, the man is a saboteur, dear. Hold it, ju just, just one second. No, 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 no café noir. Café creme, s'il vous plaît. Merci, merci. Yeah, I'm standing outside of a café here. But anyway, you got into this terrible argument, dear, and the French lexicographers, they are... Lily, you have to let me... Look, I'll tell you... Hmm? Static? Yeah. It's, it's getting worse, huh? I'll call you back when I get settled. Well, that was a Snively Craven performance. It's a Snively Craven performance because of what I was. All I know is my wife is going to kill me because I was a spy, and she's going to say, your daughter's a spy because you were a spy, and I'm in big trouble. <laughs> my heart goes out to you, but it was still a snively craven. Listen, uh, about this bed, uh, are you going to call up and have them deliver another bed to go into this room? Because uh, this is kind of small for two grown men with their legs on each other. You don't like the bed? I don't want to sleep with I thought it was a good there. size for one person, me, sleeping in it. Uh, by the way, um, what kind of beds are the children sleeping in? Mm, twins. <laughs>